So ngayon po ay tayo ay muli mag-aaral ng mga salita ng Panginoon na sa mga panahon ngayon ay kailangan kailangan natin na nangyayari sa ating paligid na nababahala ang marami at yung mga pasahe na ating uh, pinipreach sa mga panahon ngayon gaya nung nakaraang Friday yung preaching po ni Pastor Aaron dun sa Psalms na yung kanyang mga points doon ay surrounding by enemy sustained by God and saved by God so ito po ay nagbibigay ng hope at encouragement sa bawat isa sa atin na uh, sa mga panahon na ganito wala tayong ibang uh, malalapitan kundi ang ating Panginoon. So, sa araw po na to, yung ating pag-aaral ay masusumpungan po sa aklat ni Luke, kabanatang labing dalawa, mula sa mga talatang dalawampu't dalawa hanggang tatlumput isa. So, bago po tayo magpatuloy, tayo po muna po ay manalangin. Panginoon, Uli sa humaging ito kami ay nagpupuri at nagpapasalamat o God for giving us one another day sa aming mga buhay o God. Lord, salamat po o God that you have sustained us, Lord, sa mga nakaraang araw. And we pray, Lord, na yung pasay na aming pag-aaralan ngayon o God ay magbigay po sa amin ng encouragement, ng pag-asa at na higit na uh, pagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon, sa kabila ng mga nagaganap sa aming kapaligiran. Ito po ang dalangin sa pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. <clears throat> so sa ating pong uh, pag-aaral ngayon sa uh, aklat ni Luke uh, mula sa mga talatang 22 hanggang 31 verse 31 ng chapter 12 ganit po ang sinasabi sa banal ng kasulatan. And he said to his disciples, Therefore, I tell you, do not anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the raven, they neither, nor, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storeroom nor barns, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? <clears throat> And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you have not able to do as small a things as that, why are you anxious about the rest? <clears throat> Consider the lilies how they grow; they neither toll nor spin, yet. Tell you, <clears throat> even Solomon in all his glory was not array like of these things, of this. But if God so clothed the grass which is alive today, <clears throat> in the f- in the field today and tomorrow, is throw into the oven, how much more will you, he will will he clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to, to drink, nor be worried, for all the nations of the world seek after these things. And your Father knows what you need them. Instead, seek His kingdom, and these things will be added unto you. <clears throat> In our study, we are going to look now in the verses 22 and to 31 of chapter 12 no? na kung saan dinidil ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo yung topic about worry, yung mga pag-aalala o kabalisahan ng kanyang mga disipulo sa kanilang buhay. No? <clears throat> We see in this study as Jesus has been readying or hinahanda niya yung kanyang mga disipulo sa panahon na siya ay sa ay, Uh, but, uh, he will depart the, this earth and the church will be inaugurated. He has been teaching them and warning them about many things. Here is the study we see in this, here in this study we see that 
He is preparing His disciples at tinutulungan niya sila to deal with worries and anxieties. Ano ba itong mga worries and anxieties? Yung mga kabalisahan o mga pag-aalala. These are emotions and experiences that people of all era and cultures go through on a daily basis. <clears throat> Perhaps it may be the one thing for many people that most describe and capture their daily routine. <clears throat> Worry is a powerful force to disintegrate the human personality, leaving us frustrated, puzzled, and confused by life. Bagaman itong mga pagkakabalisahan at uh, pag-aalala ay mga experiences we can all relate to. There are also experiences that are very destructive to each and every one of us who experience them. Kagaya ng sinasabi nitong si Paul Lee Tan no? uh, about sa katotohanan patungkol sa pag-alala at kung ano ang effect nito sa mga tao. Ang sabi niya, doon daw sa isang British clinic, an examination of 500 patients confirm that more than one-third of their visual problems were caused by emotional fear, tension. Ito naman si Dr. Leonard Fost Dick of Northwestern University has been proven conclusively that worry restricts the flow of saliva. No. <clears throat> then because natural mouth acid are not properly neutralized, then tooth decay occurs. No. At sa isang survey of about 5,000 students sa iba't ibang kolehiyo no. confirms na yung daw mga warriors get the lowest grades. Yeah. Meron isang interesting thought na aking nabasa eh, sa daw police started to ticket a double park uh, car when a man hurried up and explained that he always double park when he visit his dentist. Bakit po kaya? Because he likes to have something to worry about to keep in his mind sa ara daw makalimutan niya yung sakit. <clears throat> Regardless of the fact that all of us experience worries of varying this degree throughout our lives, the scriptures tells us that yun daw mga pag-aalala at yung kabalisahan are wrong and a sin. Kaya nang sinulat ni Apostol Paul sa Philippians 4, 6-7, Be anxious for nothing. And this is a command for us as Christians. When we are given to worrying several things beyond, our physical health go in a negative direction. Kasama po dito yung uh, we will never grow in our Christian walk when we are doubting the Lord and His ability to take care of us and meet our needs. Isa pa, we can't uh, be effectively used in the life of others when we ourselves are doubting God's ability to work on our behalf. We are really unable to function in a useful way for the Lord at all because we are trapped and demobilized by our unbelief and fears. So doon po sa verse 22 to 23, ang sabi po ng ating Panginoon sa kanyang mga disipulo, For this reason, I say to you, do not worry about yourself, about your life, as to what you eat, nor for your body as to what you will put on. <clears throat> For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo dun sa kanyang mga disipulo na huwag mag-alala o mabahala 
sa mga bagay about their lives and their essential needs in life. Jesus' disciples, and ganun din po tayo, we need to learn and to trust God for the provision of our everyday needs. Being in a place having to depend upon the Lord's for everyday need, though can cause us persons to worry and be anxious about many things, sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, hindi lamang sa kanyang mga disipulo, maging sa ating din naman, na kanyang mga mananampalata, mga mananampalataya sa ating Panginoon sa Kristo, do not worry. <clears throat> and Jesus tells us the reason kung bakit huwag po tayong mag-worry. First, life is more than food and the body is more than clothing. So Jesus is comparing the value of various things in our lives. In that case, Jesus will be saying that being alive, that is possessing our life, is more than important than the transitory joy and experience of eating food for sustenance. Right? Sinasabi rin ng ating Panginoon Kristo that having our body, that is again to possess our life, is more important than the external covering of cloth that we might wear. Perhaps when Jesus speaks of life here, is, He is speaking of more than just physical life, referring rather for the quality of life that is really an expression of God Himself. This word for life in the New Testament refers to eternal life. At marali sinasabi ng ating Panginoon Kristo that eternal life is more than food or ano man po yung mga bagay na ating pinagkaka-worry yan. Worry. worry. <clears throat> Perhaps again, Jesus is again making an argument from lesser to the greater and is then saying that if the Lord has kept us alive at this point, that He is certainly able to and will provide food for us well. <clears throat> also, if the Lord has kept our body alive to this point, that He is certainly able to and will provide clothing for us also. While it is true that both food and clothing, in some degree, are essential to sustain physical life, life is greater than either or both. Life is more than which sustain it. Sinasabi po dun sa Luke chapter 4 verse 4, man shall not live by bread alone. <clears throat> so yung po ang isunang points na sinasabi ng at, na ating Panginoon si Kristo na huwag tayong mabahala sa mga bagay na uh, ating kinakabahala. Yung mga food or clothing o ano pa mga mga bagay but bagkus uh, yung ating buhay ay higit na mahalaga kumpara sa mga bagay na ito. Paano po, Jesus emphasized that all God's creatures are under His care. Sa so verse 24, sabi po ng ating Panginoon Kristo sa kanyang mga lagad, Consider the raven, for they neither sow nor reap. They have no storehouse nor burns, and yet God feeds them. How much more valuable you are, we are, than these birds. Jesus tells us in his disciples to consider the raven and how that the Lord provides for such insignificant creatures as this bird. So sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon Kristo to consider the raven. Inilikha po ng ating Panginoon itong mga birds with very little in a way of intelligence and no experience of consciousness apart from reality. 
most of what they do is done just by instinct. <clears throat> With their limited knowledge and experience, they do not worry about what another day will bring. However, the Lord has arranged their world in such a manner that true, though these birds are not smart enough to build any kind of storehouse or barn to store up food for themselves, yet they still eat, for the Lord provides daily for them. And in verse 27 to 28, it says, Consider the lilies, how they grow, they neither toll nor spin. But I tell you, not even Solomon, in all his glory, clothed, in, clothed himself like of this. <clears throat> but if God so clothed the grass in the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown in the furnace, how much more will he clothe us? or really clothe you, you men of little faith. Sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon Kristo na hindi lamang sa kanyang mga disipulo but sa atin din naman to consider the lilies and how they grow for they are beautiful beyond comparison and if the Lord so beautifully clothed them He, also, he will also clothe us he will also clothe us. Jesus is saying that if the Lord clothed with such splendor grass in the field, na kung saan sila ay mabubuhay sa isang araw at sa, sa susunod na araw ay itatapon lamang sa pugon, <clears throat> that the Lord will certainly clothe us gaya nitong mga uh, lilies. If such an important and insignificant things as raven and bird receive such glorious provision from God, will not God's children receive much better? Of course they will. So why worry? No. Yun po ang uh, isang encouragement para sa atin sa panahon na tayo ay nag-aalala sa mga bagay na darating ang araw kung itong uh, pandemic, the disease na kumakalat ay magpatuloy pa. Paano na yung ating mga kakanin o daramtin o ano pa mang mga bagay? Remember that kung paano the Lord provides to this raven and this lily na napaka uh, malit na bagay na nilikha ng Panginoon, how much more tayo na kanyang mga anak na hindi niya ipoprovide yung ating mga pangailangan. Third, Jesus reminds them that uh, they cannot extend their lives anyway. So, sa ating mga pag-aalala, sa ating mga kabalisahan, ay hindi makakarugtong ng ating buhay. In verse 25, And which of you by worrying can add a single heart of his lifespan? Verse 26, If then you cannot do even a very little things, why do you worry about <clears throat> other matters? Jesus asked his disciples a question, <clears throat> whether or not by worrying, they can add a single heart to their lifespan. No? Jesus is really bringing up the point of what good worrying ever does for someone. Ano nga ba yung magagawa nung pag-aalala sa atin? No? At ang kasagutan nito, tiyak, ay walang magagawa yung mga pag-alala o yung kabalisahan sa atin, yung mga dumarating na itong, uh, sa ating buhay. No. <clears throat> so the vast majority of the things that we people worry about never even come to completion. 
kung minsan ay tayo ay nag-aalala o nababalisa sa mga bagay, bagay. Subalit yung mga bagay na kung saan tayo ay nababalisa at nabab, nag, nag-aalala ay hindi man dumarating sa ating mga buhay. Most of the things that we worry about that do come to completion don't have near the impact in our lives that we fear they will have. So in every case, we have worried for nothing. Itong si Van Havner, he said, ito raw worry like a rocking chair. We'll give us something to do, but it don't get us anywhere. No? Para daw itong rocking chair. No? Bibigyan ka ng gagawin mo, subalit wala ka namang mararating. No? Meron isang magandang story about the soldier doon nung sa World War I. No? Siya raw ay may daladalang uh, uh, sayings on a piece of paper. Ang sabi po niya, Of two things, isa ang tiyak. Either you are at the front or you are behind the lines. No. Ang sabi niya, kung ikaw ay nasa front, sa dalawang bagay daw, isa ang tiyak. Either you are exposed to danger or you are in a safe place. <clears throat> At kapag daw ikaw ay nandun sa exposed to danger, sa dalawang bagay, isa ang tiyak. Either you are wounded or you are not wounded. At kung ikaw naman daw ay nasugatan, o di kaya sa panahon ngayon ay maapektuhan nitong uh, sinasabing coronavirus, sa dalawang bagay daw, isa ang tiyak. Either you recover, or you die. And if you recover, there is no need to worry. And if you die, you can't worry. So why worry? <clears throat> Worrying doesn't change anything, doesn't make anything better, and it just causes us to be miserable and makes everyone around us miserable. As I've been George Muller, The beginning of anxiety is the end of faith. And the beginning of true faith is the end of anxiety. And finally, Jesus reminds them, yung kanya mga alagad, that the Father knows what they need better than they do. <clears throat> Verse 29 to 31, ang sabi po, And do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink. I do not keep worrying for all these things the nation of the world seek. But your father knows that you need these things. But seek his kingdom and these things will be added to you. Sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon Kristo sa kanyang mga disipulo, even for us, do not, do not worry about what we will eat or drink. As the nations of the world worry, for our Father knows these things we need. <clears throat> As our Father, God is merciful to us. He is dearly loved us, reward us, listen to us. He knows and meets our needs. He give, God's, he give us good gifts and discipline us. Jesus said, Seek God's kingdom. Focus your life on things that have eternal, rather, eternal value rather than on material things. In verse 31, we said that, there, that faith as an alternative on anxiety and fear, Jesus challenges us to faith and to trust Him. Seeking God's kingdom means focusing one's life on things that have eternal value <clears throat> rather than on material things. Kaya po nang sinasabi doon sa Matthew 6.33. Uh, 
But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. The blessing of the future kingdom includes God's faithfulness for vision now. The one who trusts God to meet needs will find that God is faithful. <laughs> the problem of material things is just that they are material. They cannot be seen. Faith is not rooted in what is seen, but in what is not unseen. The things which are eternal are not seen, but the things which are temporal are seen. When we seek after material things like food and clothing, we seek after which we can see, and thus we live according to sight rather than by faith. Basahin na lang po ninyo yung 1st 2nd Corinthians verse four, uh, chapter 4, verse 18. Patungkol po dito. And uh, in Hebrews 12, 1, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. No? Faith is rooted in the word of God, which is both certain and eternal, that in those things which we see, which are fleeting, soon to pass away. The word of God is the basis both faith and for life, and it is at the very point that Jesus gives his disciple sure and certain word. <clears throat> People of this world do not know the Lord, and in that state there is much uh, that a person might reasonably want to worry about. You know? If we take our life out of God's hand, of the Lord's hand, and the umbrella of His protection, then we are left to our own devices and the realm of a spirit world that is rebellion against the Lord. It is a foolish thing to try to live our lives apart from the Lord and His plan for our lives. How reassuring it is to know that the Lord knows our every little needs and desire, everything that there is to know about us. So the Lord knows us better than everyone knows, and even better than we know ourselves. Then here is the promise of the Lord that we uh, see in our uh, verse uh, 30. Uh, 30. Uh, 29. That Verse 31 of our text. Sahalip, we seek his kingdom, and these things will be added unto us. This is the promise that if we will place the Lord first in our life and seek him, that he for his part promise, promises us that he will in fact add to us all the things that we need. <clears throat> Yung pong ating mga pangangailangan ay imimit po ng ating Panginoon kapag siya po ang inuna natin sa ating mga buhay. Life choose to have faith in the Lord. Let's choose to have faith in the Lord and trust his every word he has given us and promises to us. Trust that he knows all our needs before we even ask them. Trust him that before the world was formed, that providence has provided the, our every needs we encounter. Seek him first in his kingdom, 
then we shall never have anything for which we worry is due. Our worry is due. Whenever we worry, we have lost our peace. And thus, it's so very important na may apply po natin sa ating mga buhay yung salita ng Panginoon. Gaya ng sinasabi sa Philippians 4:6 to 7 <clears throat> In our lives, in those times na tayo ay nag-aalala o nababalisa, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication let our requests be known unto God and the peace of God shall guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Napakaganda po nung a word na to, in everything maliit man o malaki yung ating mga alalahanin o yung ating mga uh, kabalisahan ay ilagak po natin lahat ito sa ating Panginoon. We need to turn our cares into God through prayers. When we find ourselves worrying, do what the scriptures tells us to do and cast our burdens upon the Lord and He will sustain us. If we feel the distress or feel ourselves sinking under the load of our burdens, Be quick to give those things to the Lord. At sabihin po natin sa ating Panginoon that these are His problems, not ours anymore. For ourselves, we are going to live for today and give no thought for tomorrow. Sinabi po ni Haring David doon sa Psalm 37, Verse 25, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And in Romans 8.32 says, He who did not spare his own sons, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with Him graciously give us all things. So, gaya po ng sinasabi ng ating mga paningon sa Kristo, do not worry. Why? Because the reason He gives life is better than food and clothing. <clears throat> and always remember that God's creatures are under His care. At sa ating pag-aalala, ating mga kabalisahan, ay wala pong may dadagdag to sa ating mga buhay. And Jesus all reminds us that our Father knows kung ano po yung ating mga pangailangan. Patuloy po tayo magtiwala sa ating Panginoon. Have faith na yung ating mga pangailangan that God will meet them kung tayo po ay patuloy na sa Kanya ay magtiwala at sa Kanya natin nilagak yung ating mga kabalisahan. I pray na sa mga panahon na ito na nangyayari sa ating paligid, itong pasalita ng Panginoon sa atin ay magbigay ng pag-asa at ng encouragement upang yung mga worries sa ating mga buhay ay mapawi. Maraming salamat at ito po ang uh, nasalita ng Panginoon sa atin sa mga panahon na ito. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wonderful message to us, O God, about anxieties and worries, Panginoon. Tunay, O God, na, na marami, O God, sa panahon na ito na nagdabalisa o nag-aalala kung ano na po yung darating, Panginoon, sa mga araw na darating pa, O God. Lord, maraming salamat because we know, O God, that our future is in your hands, O Lord. Magabat hindi namin alam kung ano yung bukas, Panginoon. But we know, O God, that you hold the future, O Lord. 
Lord, thank you for this encouraging message to us, O oh God. May we increase our faith, O oh God, and continue to trust in you that you will supply, Lord, and you will meet all the needs of thy people. We thank you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.